Hola, I'm Diego. I'm an animal rescuer. And these are my friends. We're the Wiggles. Wiggles. I'm Greg. I'm Murray. I'm Jeff. And I'm Anthony. And we're honorary animal rescuers. And we're up very early in the morning in the outback of Australia with our friend Diego. The Wiggles and I are checking on the sleeping animals. Because here in Australia, some animals sleep in the day and come out at night. Some animals that sleep in the day and come out at night are nocturnal. Hey, will you help us check on the sleeping animals? Great, come on! Let's see if there are any animals sleeping in or under this tree. My flashlight can help us find the animals in the dark. Do you see the sleeping animals? Yeah, there they are. That's a wombat a kookaburra, an emu, a wallaroo, and a brown snake. But can you see an animal that's not asleep? Haha! -ha! Yeah, there's an animal that's not asleep. That's our friend Derek. He's a flying fox. Say hi, Derek. Hi. Good morning. Good day, Diego. Good day, Wiggles. You're probably saying that you've never heard of a flying fox or a fox that flies. Well, let us explain. You see, flying foxes aren't really foxes. They're actually big bats. They're also called fruit bats. Derek is called a flying fox because his face looks like a fox. Flying foxes sleep in the daytime and stay up all night. And sometimes we get to eat fruit at night. Flying foxes love to eat fruit. You're right there, Derek. Welcome back to your old home, Wiggles. Thanks, Derek. Hey, look. The sleeping animals are starting to wake up. Boing, 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 boing. There goes the Australian animals that live in the outback. Hey, look! The sun is starting to come out. You're right, Mari. The sun is coming out. Can you see the sun? I see it too. If the sun is coming out, that means it's time for me to go to sleep. Ugh. So I've been up all night eating fruit. Right, because flying foxes sleep in the daytime. Ugh. So I better find a tree and catch some Z's and get some sleep. Help! Help! Eek! Eek! 
Hey, that sounds like another flying fox. And she sounds like she's in trouble. If the flying fox is in trouble, we better help her. Right, Diego? Right, Jeff. We're animal rescuers. Rescuing animals is what we do. But first, we've got to find the flying fox in trouble. Can I help too, Diego? Sure, Derek. Since you're an expert on flying foxes. But, uh, Diego, how do we find the flying fox in trouble? That's easy, Anthony. Our special camera click can help us find the flying fox in trouble. We can always count on click the camera. Indeed we can, Jeff. Click will help us find the flying fox in no time. Say click! Hi, I'm Click the Camera. We need to find the flying fox in trouble. The flying fox in trouble sounds like this. Eek, eek! Let's zoom through the outback and find the flying fox that goes... Eek, eek! Is this the flying fox? No. What animal is that? Correcto. A saltwater crocodile. Is this the flying fox? No, no, no. What animal is that? Right. It's a red kangaroo. Eek, eek! Is this the flying fox? Yes! This is the flying fox in trouble. And look, she has a baby! To take a picture of the flying fox and its baby, say... Click! Got it! Now you tell Diego and the Wiggles you found the flying fox. What did you find? The flying fox? You found the flying fox in trouble! Hooray for you! Diego, Wiggles, that's mom flying fox. My mom. And look, Click's right. She does have a baby. That's my baby brother, Bruce. Wow. Look at Bruce. He looks like he's about a week old. Almost a month old. Actually, not a month old, Anthony. Oh. 
When flying fox babies are born, they can't fly on the first month of their life. So their mom carries them everywhere and takes them everywhere they go. Just like sometimes your mom would take you everywhere when you were a baby. And Bruce will hang on to his mom until he learns to fly. Right, Derek? Right, Greg. When I was a baby, I had to hang on to my mom until I learned to fly. Help! Help! Eek! Eek! We've got to find out why Mommy and Baby Flying Fox are in trouble. We've got to see more of the picture. We can do that if Click zooms out. Say zoom! Oh no! Look! Mommy's flying fox's feet are stuck in sticky gum on a gum tree. Sticky gum trees have very sticky gum that's like glue. It's very sticky. Mommy Flying Fox must have been flying all night and saw the sun come up and landed on the gum tree and got stuck. And look, the sun is coming up even more. In Australia, in the daytime, it gets really hot. So hot, when flying foxes get too hot, they can pass out from heat exhaustion. We have to save Mommy Flying Fox before that happens. We've got to save my mom, Diego Wiggles. Don't worry, Derek. We'll save her, and we'll save your brother, too. Will you help us save Mommy and Baby Flying Fox? Hot dog! Then come on, Wiggles. Come on, Diego. Let's go save the flying foxes. Al rescate, amigos! Clap your hands with us. Clap, clap, clap. Clap, clap, clap. Clap, clap, clap. Clap, clap, clap. Great. Let's sound like a flying fox. Say, eek, eek. Eek, eek. I've got to save my mom and brother. I've got to save my mom and brother. I've just got to. Hey, Derek, wait up. Derek, espera. Wait. Wow, Derek must really want to help his mom and baby brother. You're right, Jeff. Look how fast he's flapping. Flying foxes can fly at 35 to 40 kilometers per hour and may travel over 50 kilometers from their camp to a feeding area. Mari's right. Flying foxes can, can fly very fast. And Derek is losing us in the dust. Hey, Derek! Espera! Derek, wait up! We can't catch up to you! Derek, wait! 
Derek is flying into the rainforest of Australia. Come on. We don't want to lose them. Uh-oh. I can't see Derek anymore. Where did Derek go? I don't see Derek. Me neither. We've got to find him. I know, if we can't see Derek, maybe we can hear for him. Flying foxes have very good hearing because of their ears. Flying foxes can hear very well. Yeah. Let's all make flying fox ears to listen for Derek. Cuff your hands around your ears like this. Yeah, just like that. Now let's listen and find out which path Derek is on. Or in Spanish, escucha. Eek, eek. Is Derek on the first path or the second path? Eh. The second path, right. Let's go. Two more paths. It's scooching. Eek, 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 eek. Is Derek on the first path or the second path? Hmm. The second path, right. Come on. Eek, 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 eek. I hear Derek. We must be getting close to him. Do you see Derek? Yeah, there he is. Derek! Diego Wiggles! Thanks for helping us find Derek. You're very good listeners. Sorry I had to leave you behind, Diego and Wiggles. That's okay, Derek. You're very good listeners. Yeah, thanks again. Help! Help! Eek! Eek! Uh-oh. That's Mommy Flying Fox calling for help. Let's call to Mommy Fox to tell her we're on our way. Say, eek, eek. Eek, eek. Great. Come on, let's go. Oye, Diego. It's starting to rain, but it hardly rains in Australia. Whoa! 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 The rain is making the ground very slippery. How can it be raining? There's not a cloud in the sky. You're right, Jeff. If there aren't any clouds, what else can it make can it be making rain?
Do you see the Bobos? Yeah, there they are. The Bobos are spraying each other with water. And they're making the ground wet. And they're getting a soak, too. Whoa. Yikes. Whoa. Missed that one. The Bobos are making this all wet. We've got to stop the Bobos. Or we'll never save the baby and mommy flying fox. Let's show the Wiggles how to stop the Bobos. To stop the Bobos, yell, freeze, Bobos! Louder! Freeze, Bobos! You stop the Bobos! Good job stopping the Bobos. Hooray for you again. Help! Help! Eek! Eek! We still have to save Mommy and Baby Flying Fox. Vamanos, amigos! Whoa! Look how high up we are. That sure is a long way down. Whoa! We're on top of a tall cliff. Wow, and the sun's coming up even more. It's starting to get very hot now. Whew. Jeff's right. The more the sun comes up, the more hot it gets. Ah, and I'm starting to get even hotter and hotter. Look, I'm even licking myself. I don't think I can fly anymore. I think I'm gonna... Uh, Diego Wiggles, help! Uh-oh. Derek is licking himself. When flying foxes lick themselves, that's cause for concern. Which means they can pass out from heat exhaustion. And Derek is... is feeling so hot, he can hardly fly. And stay up. If he hits the ground, he could get hurt. We have to save Derek. We need something we can use to fly down the tall cliff. To save Derek. My rescue pack can transform into anything we need. To activate my rescue pack, say, Activate! Activa Yo, Rescue Pack here! Diego needs something he can use to fly down the tall cliff to save Derek. Will a surfboard fly him down the tall cliff? No!
Will ski goggles fly him down the tall cliff? No way! Will a hang glider fly him down the tall cliff? Yes, it can. Good thinking. Now you tell Diego and the Wiggles he needs a hang glider. What do we need? A hang glider. Hot dog. Go, Diego, go! Come on, Wiggles. Let's meet Diego down there. Hang in there, Derek. Diego is on his way. Yippee! Oh, no. Derek is going to fall. We've got to catch him. Reach out your hands to catch Derek. Reach out! Catch him! Catch him! Reach out! Catch him! Catch him! Catch him! Instant replay. Let's see that again. We've got him! Great catching! Oh, thanks, Diego. Thanks for saving me. And thank you, too. Are you okay, Derek? I'm okay, Mari. Thanks to Diego and our friends. Great rescue, Diego, and great rescue to you, too. That was awesome. <sighs> Derek is still so hot. He can hardly fly. Hmm. We've got to cool Derek down so he doesn't feel hot anymore. Flying foxes can cool down from hot heat by seeking shade under trees. Do you see a shady tree for Derek to hang under? Yeah, there's one. Huh. <sighs> <sighs> Look how Derek is panting. Panting is one of the several things flying foxes do to cool themselves down in extreme heat. Flying foxes always do these things in the same order as they get hotter. First, they fan their wings. <sighs> I'm already doing that. Then they seek shade under trees. <sighs> But remember when Derek was licking himself earlier? When flying foxes start licking themselves, that's cause for concern, which means they can pass out from heat exhaustion. And sometimes in Australia, it gets very hot in the daytime. 
but before they pass out from heat exhaustion, flying foxes start panting, which Derek is already doing, as you can see. We've got to help Derek cool down. I know. We can flap our arms like flying fox wings. Great idea, Mari. We need your help to cool Derek down. Put your arms out to the side like flying fox wings and flap them as hard as you can. Flap them, flap them, flap them. Ah, it's working. Keep flapping your arms. Flap, 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 flap. Ah, I'm starting to cool down. I'm feeling much better now. Thanks, Wiggles. Thanks, Diego. And thank you, too. Are you ready to fly again, Derek? I don't know. I don't want to pass out from heat exhaustion again. That's okay, Derek. We'll help you. We can help Derek fly by singing. Derek knows Spanish, so we can help him fly by singing Vuela. Can you sing Vuela? Great! Sing Vuela! Vuela! Let's help our friend Derek fly, fly up to the sky. Sing, vuela, vuela. Let's help our friend Derek fly, fly up to the sky. Sing, vuela, 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 vuela. Hey, I can fly again. Thanks, Wiggles. Thanks, Diego. Huh, <sighs> but I still feel a little hot. Derek is starting to feel a little hot again. But luckily, I have something that will help cool him down. Just like humans, flying foxes need to stay hydrated. What will cool Derek down? Water, right! Mind if I do it, Mari? Go ahead, Anthony. Here you go, Derek. Drink some water. Uh, actually, Anthony, flying foxes prefer drinking water from leaves. Oh, right. Can you find a leaf for Anthony? Hmm... Yeah, there's one. Good eye. Here you go, Anthony. Here you go, Derek. Ah, I feel much better already. Remember to drink lots of water when you go outside on a hot day.
drink some water. Don't, don't drink some water. Don't, don't drink some water. It's so good for you. Don't, don't drink some water. Don't, don't drink some water. Don't, don't drink some water. It's so good for you. <sighs> Thanks for the water, Murray. No problem, Derek. Help! Help! Eek! Eek! Now we've got to hurry and save my mom and my baby brother. You're right, Derek. Flying fox moms are tough. But mommy flying fox and baby flying fox won't last this heat for much longer. So vamanos, amigos. Whoa, hey, Wiggles, Diego, wait, wait, espera. What's wrong, Jeff? Mari, look. A warning sign. Ooh, Jeff's right. And look, there's an animal on the warning sign. What animal is that? Right, a lizard. That's a special type of lizard called a goanna. Goannas are one of the several species of lizards found in Australia and Southeast Asia. Around 70 species of varianus are unknown. Goannas can be quite aggressive lizards. And they can attack if they feel threatened or if you get too close. <gasps> As a matter of fact, flying foxes are afraid of goannas. There could be goannas up ahead. We've got to be careful. If you see a goanna, say goanna. Do you see a goanna? Yeah, there's one. Uh-oh. But the goanna is sleeping. We don't want the goanna to wake up. So we're going to have to tiptoe past the goanna so he doesn't wake up. Will you help us tiptoe past the goanna? Great. You have to stand up to tiptoe. Stand up, please. Stand up. Stand up. Get up, get up, get up. Now tiptoe with us. Ready? Tiptoe, tiptoe, tiptoe. Tiptoe, tiptoe, tiptoe. Tiptoe, tiptoe, tiptoe. Tiptoe, tiptoe, tiptoe. We made it past the sleeping goanna. You know what they say, slow and steady wins the race, and sometimes slow is the way to go. <laughs> You're right there, Jeff. Thanks for helping us tiptoe past the goanna. Hey, Diego, Wiggles, I think I can see the sticky gum tree my mom and baby brother are stuck in, but it's so far away I can hardly see it. I can see it. I can't see it either. Flying foxes can see very well, but the sticky gum tree is too far away for Derek to see. We can't see it either. My spotting scope can help us find the sticky gum tree. 
Make a spotting scope with your hands to find the sticky gum tree. Now let's look for the flying foxes and the sticky gum tree. Help! Help! Eek! Eek! Do you see the sticky gum tree and the flying foxes? Yes! I see them now! I see them now! Come on! Mommy Flying Fox really needs our help! Mom! Mom! Oh! Derek! I've come to help you and Bruce! These are my friends, Diego and the Wiggles. They're animal rescuers. They'll get you unstuck, Mom. Just stay calm. Okay, dear. We have to be careful not to touch the sticky gum or else we'll get stuck too. Remember, Sticky gum is like glue. So we have to pull mommy flying fox and baby flying fox free. Will you help us pull them free? Great, but let's be gentle so we don't hurt them. Put your arms out in front of you and... Paul! 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 They're free! Oh, thanks, Greg. Thanks, Mari. Ugh, but I'm so hot, I can, I don't know if I can fly. We'll help you, Mom. Let's help Mom Flying Fox fly. Sing it with us. Sing. Vuela. Vuela. Let's help Mommy Flying Fox fly. Fly up to the sky. Sing. Vuela. Vuela. Come on, Mom. You can do it. Flap those arms. Hey, look. She's starting to do it. Yeah, look at her go. Look at her. She's feeling proud. Let's sing it really loud. Sing. Vuela. 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 Yay! Mommy Flying Fox can fly again! Wow, you are very good at speaking Spanish! And look! The sun is high in the sky now! You saved us, Derek! You saved us! <laughs> Thank you, Derek. You're welcome, Mom. You too, Bruce. But you should also thank my friends, Diego and the Wiggles. Thank you so much for saving us, Diego. You too, Wiggles. You're welcome, Mommy Flying Fox. Now it's time for Mommy... Flying Fox, Bruce, and Derek to go to sleep. Because Flying Foxes sleep in the daytime. Let's find the Flying Foxes a tree for them to sleep under. One that's not a gum tree. 
Do you see a tree for the flying foxes to sleep under? Yeah, there's one. Oh, thanks again for helping me save my mom and baby brother, Diego. You too, Wiggles. Yeah. Rescuing animals is what we do. Oh, and thank you, too. Yes, thanks for helping us save Derek's mom and baby brother. We couldn't have done it without you. Mission completa. Rescue complete. We helped mommy and baby flying fox get free from the sticky gum tree. You're great at helping animals. Come on, sing quiet with us. These animals are friends of mine, from the tip of their nose to their thoughts in mind. All the friends we've met today are special in their own way. We've all got different names, but we're really all the same. Thanks for dropping by, we're glad you came. These animals are friends of mine, they jump and swim, crawl, fly and climb. One more thing we have to say, go make an animal friend today, yeah! <sighs> now it's really time for us to go to sleep, Diego. Wiggles. Right, because flying foxes sleep in the daytime. Let's say goodnight to Derek, his mom and baby brother in Spanish. Say, buenas noches. Buenos noches. Ah, buenos noches, Diego. Buenos noches, Wiggles. Que duerman bien. Sweet dreams. Ah. I think all that rescuing the flying foxes made Jeff sleepy. Come on, let's wake Jeff up on the count of three. Ready? One, two, three. Wake up, Jeff! <laughs> Thanks for waking me up, everyone. What a morning. We learned so much about flying foxes today. We sure did. And there's so much more for us to discover. Together! Hasta luego, amigos. See you soon.